finally created a space where Black women can come together and talk about everything that makes them feel uncomfortable. While the topic of discussion may be hair, you'll be surprised where you can veer off into other subjects when talking about hair. During season two, we'll talk all about dating as black women, hair in corporate America, and how we can bridge a gap. I'm your host, Brianna, and you're watching Sister's Diary. On to the next topic, guys. So we all are dating. We're in our dating ages. We're old enough to date. And we all know that there can be a lot of issues in a relationship, but today we're going to be talking about hair stigmas while dating. So have you all ever gotten any different treatment when you were wearing your hair straight or when you were wearing your hair curly or if you had some pieces in or a wig or anything like that? Um, I have to say again, I think that I've struggled with my hair internally mm -hmm. um, because I'm married now oh. um, and so my okay. husband he's Indian thank you okay <laughs> he's Indian so when we got engaged I was like I need to have my hair straight mm -hmm. you know it felt like I had competition with it Indian women yeah. you know <laughs> ah. so I went and got a relaxer as soon as we got engaged I was already straightening my hair but mm -hmm. the humidity in Florida mm -hmm. no <laughs> wasn't working so I went and got a relaxer um, had my hair straight for a long time transition and when my husband saw my natural hair he loved it mm -hmm. I had like I just had no idea I never knew he would love it right and I didn't know I was gonna love it either because wow. I had my hair straight for so long all my life Wow so it was more of a thing it was a good experience yes yeah yes so it was more of a thing like you were kind of you know holding yourself back from yeah wearing your hair natural but in all reality he loves it like, yeah he loves my hair however wow. he's even when I had my hair straight I would actually have him put the rollers in <laughs> put the clip-ins in for my extensions wow. um, he's just been completely supportive That's awesome. of course he thinks that he knows I need to put less product in my hair and I'm just like we have way different hair. <laughs> <Right. laughs> if I don't do this, it is not going to look like this. Right, right. <laughs> but that's cool. The dynamic of the relationship and him learning something new. Yeah. You learning something new from him. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, what about you? Um, I definitely feel that finding someone who's going to accept you for like all sides of your hair, whether it's like you out here in the naps mm -hmm. or like you just have like twist out or you just half done with a bonnet, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> and I feel that like I've hit before like I don't want to be FaceTime unless like my hair is done or I don't want to FaceTime like with a bonnet on um, but definitely like finding someone um, I think which is important um, that'll just like love you in whatever state that's that's my goal yeah, yeah. so are you dating have you found anyone that we 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 in the market we <laughs> We looking. We looking. Okay. Well, good luck, girl. Put a good few luck. apples in the basket. <laughs> good luck. Okay. Well, I guess my experience with that, I would say I was dating outside of my race. And, you know, that was just different because, you know, I would want to wear my bonnet at night or take out my weave and I would have to explain, like, no. I'm braiding my hair down mm -hmm. and I'm putting in the you know the weave and you know he he just didn't understand it and I would have to like show him like it, it came to a point to where I got comfortable where I could take out my weave and stuff in front of him and show him my braids so that was just kind of like a different experience like showing a man like weave you know and then another thing I could kind of relate when you said like oh I avoided a FaceTime or something or I would be like a boy would probably like want to go out and I'm like dang I wish I had a weave right now because my hair looking <laughs> kind of bad like my twist that ain't right I don't want to wear a right. bun so it's kind of like I feel like in like having natural hair 
I felt like, yeah, it kind of could hold you back from, like, going out with a guy or something. Because mm-hmm. when you have a weave, me personally, I just feel like, you know, you brush it and it's fine. It's Natural hair, it's like, oh, I didn't twist it last night. I can't go nowhere. <laughs> or, you know, I'm out of this product and that product is my favorite. And, you know, so I guess it mm-hmm. kind of can stand, like, hold you back in the dating world if you let it. And I would let it. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. And that's crazy because I never thought about it like that. But it's like... For someone to say it out loud is true. Like, yeah. and some people will judge people, like judge you for that. Like, oh, you don't love yourself. No, it's not that. I just, you know, I just yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. it's not what yeah. I want. Or maybe the we may just be a little bit easier for me to deal with right now. Yeah. Or you know, sometimes I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I don't want to wrap Or I just twisted my hair up and then somebody want to be like hey meet me here it's like no no, no. 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 really understand that they, they be like just yeah. come on like it's fine yeah. it's no okay. it's not yeah. right. it's not fine right. Right. So they just put on their little clothes and mm-hmm. head out I have to say, (laughs) even in my marriage, I feel like um, that's been a challenge for us because my husband, he loves to go out, party, get with everybody. um, And he just, he's like, let's go out tonight. And I'm like, I need notice. I got to do my, I got to do it the day before. Exactly. Especially if it's like wash day or something. Mm -hmm. Like, no, that's a whole day's worth of sitting in the house. If you went out like that, you would care. Yeah, I would. I mean, I, I feel like I would. I would. Yeah, it's for us. Yeah, yeah, serious. And they don't understand because my man's mm-hmm. like, put a hat on. It's okay. You're cute. No, <laughs> no. no. Yeah, it's no. like yeah, it's for us. But you. your question was dating. Like we go out on a date, we want to feel we our best. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. like and if I don't feel my best uh, or look, I'm not about to go out. It's right. like, yeah, yeah. I love my hair and yada yada yada, but I want it to look right. Wow, mm-hmm. that's true. Yeah. Well, what about you, Tyler? So, funny story. <laughs> well, you're engaged. I am engaged. Oh, my God. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. So, guys, listen. <laughs> Season one, my best friend was engaged, and now Tyler's engaged. Yes. So, <laughs> if you're a part of society, so you so may be getting a ring. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So, funny story, I had an ex-boyfriend, and I always wore weaves or a little crochet, because that's easy mm-hmm. to get that little look that you got right there. Right. <laughs> so, my ex was like, I really want to see your natural hair. And I'm like, mm, this is around the time I didn't get any silk presses. I was just natural, new to Florida, and my hair was just a hot mess. I'm like, mm, okay. And so, I took my braids out one day, and he saw me, and he was just like, uh, you should put your weave back. I'm like, oh. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You gotta go, because <laughs> that's that's very toxic. So let that go. Um, yeah. But my man now, he loves every texture of hair that I have. He just like Janine's man. Mm-hmm. Let me help you. Let me take your weave out. Let me help you put this in stuff like that. But yeah, it takes it takes yourself to love your hair and to know it and to love to, yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what you want and what you love and what you appreciate about yourself definitely. Mm-hmm. So yes. I don't care about them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've never yeah. considered how he feels because oh, my oh. hair. Period. <laughs> <laughs> period. 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 I feel like when I go into a room and I feel bad about myself, everybody, I automatically think feels bad about me. If I go yeah, in the everybody, I don't even pay attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, this is me. It's for me. So whatever I want to change my style up, I don't think it's taken any type of way. It's mm-hmm. more like, you're beautiful in the way you are. Aww. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I feel <laughs> like that. And it's so crazy to me because when people say that their man or their boyfriend or their husband told them to get their hair a specific way, I'm just like, that's yeah. too toxic. This way. Right. Right. You control you, not me. <laughs> I have a whole coworker who dyes her hair one color because her husband likes it like that. It's like a kind of burnished orange. Oh, she likes her hair dark. Uh, she likes her hair almost black. No. But she doesn't. She's like, every once in a while when I see him, I'm like, oh, you did your hair the way you like? She was like, yeah. He can wait. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, that's good. Like, I do that, <laughs> yeah. honestly, because she'll go to the store and buy that oh, dye, man. that texturizer, the color she wants. Just for him. Wow. That's so yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
And I think I'm kind of like you. Like, I never consider, like, what the guy wants. I don't ask. I don't care because it's what I want to do. And I'm a hairstylist, so I change my hair a lot. Every day. Every day is something different. So when I go home, I'm taking this out and probably doing something else. So I love changing up my hair every day to go with my outfit. Because one hairstyle does not go with a specific mm -hmm. outfit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. But I will say, um, like, now when I see a cute guy in the store, I'm like, like, if I just have a ponytail in or just <laughs> my hair, like, in a bun or something, I'm like, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> if my hair was, like, pressed right now, right, like, and I had a little, yes, like, he, he would want you, girl. So, I just want to add to that real quick, because some guys don't care what you look like they and your hair looks like. I get more attention when but I look like crap. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, these are the moments you're thinking in your head like when do I feel myself the most when do I right. think I'm cute the most and to me I feel like I'm real cute with my little silk, silk press or just my natural hairstyle like even if it's a braid out or something I just love wearing my hair out but I don't wear it out that much it's kind of weird but um yeah I think whoever you with should take you however you come in its many forms and when you want to hang your wig on that bed, yeah, that's right? <laughs> it is what it is, boo. I'm home. <laughs> exactly. I've came home like that a million times. Like, <laughs> you know, right? As soon as you walk in the door, you Wait take it off. <laughs> exactly. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brianna, and you're tuned in to season two of Sisters Diary. As you can see, we gave the ladies these beautiful gift bags and inside they had the Evers Edge Brush. If you're interested in getting your own, then look down below at the giveaway rules and this could be yours today. Slick them edges, girl.